Hi guys, today is Monday, July 13th, and welcome to episode 34 of Knits and Stuff. My name is Alicia, and today we'll be talking about works in progress, pretty things, local delights, and wibbly wobbly tiny wedding. Um, but first, welcome to those of you that are new, and thanks for those of you that are returning watchers. Um, if you haven't already, there's a group on Ravelry that you can join called Knits and Stuff Podcast, and I will put a link in the show notes, which are at knitsandstuff.wordpress.com. So let's get started. Um, works in progress. I am still working on my um, Quaker Yarn Stretcher Boomerang by Susan Ashcroft. And this is out of um, Freya Fine Hand Paints in South Beach. And I'm knitting it on US 7's 4.5 millimeters on um, Crystal Palace Bamboo Needles. And I haven't had much knitting time in the past couple weeks, so um, mainly because of Comic Con. So I've only done a few rows on this, but I think I was just starting the gray last time I showed it, and now I'm a couple of rows into the gray. So that is my progress on that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all. I'm almost done with the gray, is still gonna be the last color in here. So coming close to the end of the skein. Um, this is about how much I have left, so I'm getting there. Um, and then I'm also working on the Sock Head Hat by Kelly McClure, and this was my Frog Bristol Hat. Um, it's out of Madeline Tosh um, Merino Light in the colorway Neon Lot A. Um, I'm almost done. I'm knitting to about half an inch shorter than what the pattern calls for. And oh, and these are on um, US 3s, which 3.25 millimeters. Um, and also Crystal Palace bamboo uh, needles. So, yeah, that's how far I am on that. And as you can see, this part's a little more saturated in color, and then it. it um, gets a little bit lighter, especially over here. But um, yeah, I probably have about an inch left to knit on this. I knit at, on it a little bit at um, Comic Con while waiting in line, <laughs> but um, not too much. So this one's almost done, and I think I said that last time, but <laughs> hopefully I'll um, be able to finish this one up soon. Good purse knitting. Um, so yeah, that's those are all my works in progress. Like I said, I haven't had much knitting time because um, I was preparing for Comic-Con and um, recovering from vacation, <laughs> so um, yeah, but speaking of vacation, I still have some pretty things to show you guys. Um, last time I talked about the stuff I got in Scotland, so um, I still have stuff from England that I got. We went to a couple places um, in... Uh, in Bath and in um, London, I went to two yarn shops um, among some other places. Um, I guess kind of like last the last episode, it's going to be pretty things slash local delights. Um, so I could talk about places that we went to and um, if you're in the area or in England um, visiting, you can go see them too. Um, I know I already talked about the Doctor Who experience in Cardiff. Um, but after Scotland, we went to York, and we went to, um, I didn't get a chance to go to the yarn store there, but there was one um, in the city center of York. But we did go to um, the Viking Center, which was really neat. Uh, you get taken through this exhibit on a little um, car, basically, that runs on wheels through, through the uh, exhibit they have, and um, someone's narrating about um, the history of the Vikings, and what all of the models are doing in um, in their exhibit so that was interesting um, and then uh, from York we went to Stratford upon Avon and uh, got to see a Othello um, I didn't go to a yarn store near there either but um, we did have dinner there um, which we also ended up having McDonald's after the play because we were still hungry <laughs> um, but Othello was really good um, we saw it at the Royal Shakespeare Theater, and um, yeah. So if you're, if you're, you, it's like 
Someone compared um, going to Stratford-upon-Avon without seeing a Shakespeare play as like going to China without seeing the Great Wall. So um, yeah, we figured we had to see a play. <laughs> so um, from there, uh, we went to Bath and got to see the Roman baths, which were um, pretty cool to look at. And um, there we did go to one of the art stores um, that was called Wool. I still have the bag. Um, and I bought just a couple of things, um, not as local as some of the other stuff that I had bought, but I did buy um, some Debbie Bliss Fine Donegal. Um, and this does not have a colorway name, but it is color 54005, and it's this lovely heathered looking single ply yellow gold golden color. Um, so I figured this would make probably like a nice lace shawl or something like that. Um, yeah, so we'll see for that. It's a um, merino wool and cashmere. So, and sorry if you hear some noise in the background. My some people are home, so um, if you hear background noise, that's other people wandering around. So, um, also from wool, um, I got two Patagonia wools, um, and that is oh, it's 100% sheep's wool. It's not any more specific than that, but it's made from um, made in Chile. And um, I think these, the both, both of the ones I got are undyed. Um, so that is that one, that one. So, and it's kind of a, it's a single ply also in an uneven, like thick and thin yarn. So yeah, that is what I got from Wool. Um, oops, I'm crinkling. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Bath was really pretty. Um, the the whole town was um, really nice, like the architecture and especially the baths themselves. Um, it was really interesting walking around the uh, the Roman baths and seeing different rooms and how the water comes up and goes through. And um, unfortunately, you can't take baths there anymore because the water is not very clean. <laughs> but it used to have a roof over it, so. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting uh, to see how they just utilize this water um, from the hot springs and this it was this whole social and cultural center uh, back in Roman times. So uh, that was Bath and then from there we went to Cardiff, um, didn't get a chance to go to any art stores in Cardiff, uh, did go to the Doctor Who experience and um, yeah, and that was pretty much Cardiff. Um, I forget where we ate at for dinner. I think we grabbed something quick that night too. Um, oh, we went to, that's what it was, we went to Noodle Box, which is, I think it, they have a couple locations, but um, it's in a college neighborhood and um, you can choose your noodles, your type of noodle, and then choose your type of sauce. Um, and like fillings, fillings, <laughs> and then um, and then they cook it up for you. So it's kind of um, like a Chipotle-ish for noodles, um, kind of. <laughs> so, but it was really good though. Um, so that was where we ate in Cardiff. And um, from there, we went to London. Um, went to a bunch of the places to go sightseeing, like Westminster Abbey. We walked by Buckingham Palace. Um, we saw the eye from far away, um, we saw Big Ben, and yeah, then we went to Loop, which is a pretty popular yarn store in, um, in London by, um, by King's Cross slash Angel, um, the, the two underground stops. Um, we were staying close to King's Cross, and I think the Loop yarn store was closer to the Angel stop, but, um, yeah, so we went to the Loop, and I had seen, um, as I'm sure some of you guys might have, uh, advertisements on like Ravelry or knitting magazines of this yarn store that just looks gorgeous, and it was gorgeous. Um, and they have tote bags for when you go shopping, um, when you buy stuff, they give you a tote bag. Uh, it's really cute, and the store was adorable. It's two floors, um, smaller. 
with a bunch of different yarn squeezed in. Um, so I got some wool Liza and this is the colorway Aspen Tree. Um, it's 100% super wash um, and I think it's a fingering weight. Um, yeah, I think so. So that is that. And then I also got um, some Angora, 50% Angora, 50% wool. This is St. Magnus Decay. And, <laughs> um, and this is the colorway Sage. And that's by um, Orkney Angora. So that is that. And then I got one more thing. Um, which was actually two more things. I forgot about these. Oh, I'm excited. I can use these soon. Um, this is from the Uncommon Thread. And this is uh, BFL Light DK. And it is hand dyed in Britain. And it's also exclusive, an exclusive colorway to um, Loop. So it's the colorway is Spamoni. And it's got little flecks of blues and pinks, greens, or yellows, blacks. Um, yeah, really pretty. So that is that. And I also got these adorable stitch markers. <laughs> um, this is what they look like. They're so cute. Um, handmade. And I think they, um, yeah, there's our, there are six, five, five stitch markers in the little package. So I got that from Luke and um, that's, yeah, that's it from, from all of my yarn purchases there. And um, yes, yeah, so we were in London for about a day and a half and we had dinner at um, an Indian restaurant one of the nights. Um, it was an Indian chain and I don't remember the name of it at the moment, but I'll put it in the show notes. <laughs> Um, it was it was pretty good and um, yeah that was pretty much what we did while we were there uh, it was a quick trip and those were all my pretty things from England but I have some more pretty things that are now related to um, Wibbly Wobbly Timey Wimey so let's move on to that um, as I've been talking about a little bit um, I went to Comic Con it just ended yesterday and we got back early um, or late last night, early this morning, it was late last night, we got back like at 11.30 or so, 12 maybe, um, and it was four days of crazy convention, um, if, I've talked about it before, but if you don't know, um, Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con is a huge convention with all sorts of fandom that you can think of. <laughs> um, it's got comics, it's got TV shows, movies, video games, um, mostly of the sci-fi fantasy stuff, but there's also way more than just that. Um, and it's a lot of fun. And they have panels um, where they have celebrities come in and talk about their movies. They have um, creators, writers, artists do panels and then there's the big exhibition hall that has booths and things that you can buy and um, things that you can do. A lot of them are interactive. Um, and then there's also a bunch of off-site stuff too. So um, even if you don't have a ticket for Comic Con, you can also do some of the off-site stuff if you're in the area. Um, people, the companies and uh, go like all out for a lot of the stuff. So um, so we went to the Doctor Who panel in, on Thursday um, and Jenna Coleman was there, um, Michelle Gomez, the actress that played Missy was there, and um, Peter Capaldi was there, and Stephen Moffat, um, they were all on the panel. And they talked a little bit about um, past season and answered some questions and they never give any spoilers in um, in their panels they're very strict on that but they do give um, they did give like a kind of a teaser for the next season um, which really didn't give much away at all <laughs> so but it'll be um, fun it's coming up in a couple of a uh, couple of months so that will be exciting and I also talked about um, 
a new uh, video game. It's one of the, the LEGO games um, called LEGO Dimensions and uh, it's different than um, some of their older games because you actually have uh, pieces of LEGO or like toys, LEGO toys that you um, there's one center thing that you build and then you can have different characters that you use. So if you're familiar with Amiibos or Skylanders, it's kind of like that. Um, where you can pull in these toy, the physical toys and they affect your game in a way. Um, so we played LEGO Dimensions 2 after they showed the teaser. But I'll have to link to the, um, one of the trailers, video game trailers, um, in the show notes because they they have uh, the Doctor and the TARDIS and Aunt Clara and um, you can play as all 12, any one of the 12 Doctors um, in the game and so we played it, um, they showed the trailer in the panel but we also played it outside um, and you can play as the Doctor, you go through this um, it's basically like any other adventure game where you have a level um, or story that you're going through and you have to do some different things. It's kind of puzzle-like too, in a way. Um, and they also have, speaking of some of the other stuff that they have, or puzzles, and um, they also have a portal uh, character that you can play and a portal-ish level. So that was a really fun video game that is um, done by Valve in there. So they, basically the LEGO Dimensions pulls from a um, bunch of different uh, genres and um, so they have Doctor Who, they have Portal, um, they have of course all the characters from the Lego movie um, and they have some DC characters, they have Gandalf, I guess some of the, basically some of the games that they've made before they have characters. So anyway, <laughs> um, it looks really fun and it was pretty fun to play the Doctor Who level so definitely gonna have to get that because it has the Doctor in it and um, it was a pretty fun game. So, yeah, that was all that they talked about at the panel. Um, yeah, they showed the trailer and then the LEGO Dimensions trailer, and that was pretty much it for the panel. Um, but we also went to the BBC America booth and oh, excuse me, and um, got some goodies. So, adding to the pretty things, um, I got a tote bag with a TARDIS on it, and this was um, designed by Alice Singh, I think, um, and it's one of the, I think it was one of the fan art, um, or it was fan art, and then they, they took it and made it into um, one of their uh, official merchandise art, so it has Doctor on the back in San Diego from um, 2015, so we know where I got it. <laughs> and then I also got, um, a 2016 mini calendar so that is what I don't think I need to refocus but yeah that's what the front of it is and that's the back um, and this is also an exclusive at um, at comic-con I think or at least at the shop <laughs> so that's that and then I also got a little charm bracelet that comes in this adorable tin <laughs> um, and it's, oh I had, it, I had it on wrong, it should be like that. <laughs> uh, so this is the, the charm bracelet and it has little, little charms, uh, let's get the yeah it's got little adorable little charms on it so that is that and then the last thing I got, in case you haven't noticed it, is a shirt um, with oh, with all the four doctors on it, <laughs> and then it also says San Diego on the back. So yeah, that is all of the Doctor Who stuff, and I think that is um, all we have to talk about today. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> so yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, hopefully I'll be back to a normal recording schedule now. So I will see you guys in about two weeks. Um, social media stuff. I'm Eliana Nitz on Ravelry, Unperfect529 on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, etc. <laughs> um, 
and the Knits and Stuff podcast group is on Ravelry, which I'll link to in the show notes, which are again at knitsandstuff.wordpress.com. And yeah, that's it for um, today, but I will see you guys in two weeks. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.